Skyrim is a massive open world RPG known for its vast array of available playstyles. Players can use bows, daggers, battle axes, and more, but there's something so classic about the old sword and shield combination. So today on Game Rant, we're ranking the best one-handed weapons in Skyrim. Up first, it's the Pale Blade. This sword looks like a standard ancient Nord sword, but it's so much more than that. Players can acquire this sword in Frostmere Crypt, and it's worth doing so as the Pale Blade deals 25 extra frost damage, 50 stamina damage, and causes low level enemies to flee from combat. Next, it's Falder's Lucky Dagger. This is another weapon where looks can be deceiving. Though it has a bit of a low base attack rate, this dagger has a 25% chance of scoring a critical hit, making it very useful for certain situations. To find this blade, head to Moss Mother Cavern and talk to Falder. Switching back to swords, it's Dawnbreaker. This gorgeous blade can be obtained by completing the quest, The Break of Dawn. This sword not only has 12 base damage, but also deals 10 fire damage to all targets, and can cause undead enemies to explode, making for some exciting battles. Our next sword is Harkon's Sword. Players will need to complete the Kindred Judgment quest if they hope to obtain this sword. This powerful blade boasts the ability to absorb 15 health, magicka, and stamina from enemies, but the player must be a vampire for this effect to work. If not, it's nothing more than a nice trophy for the collection. Up next, Ebony Mace. This weapon is easier to find than the others as it can be looted or even crafted. Not only is it pretty powerful, but it's also part of a wider ebony set, making it a great choice for players who want to roleplay with a more uniform aesthetic. Up next is another mace, the Mace of Malagbal. This ornate mace is pretty powerful on its own, but also boasts a special ability. Every strike deals 25 magicka and stamina damage, while also inflicting soul trap. To get this special mace, players must complete the House of Horror quest in Markarth. Up next, it's Mehrun's Razor. This dagger may have a lower attack stat compared to the others on this list, but it makes up for it with its special ability. Every strike has an approximately 2% chance to instantly kill, making this a viable option against high health bosses. To get this blade, players must complete the Pieces of the Past quest. Our next dagger is Blade of Woe. This weapon is acquired via the With Friends Like These quest, part of the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Blade of Woe has the special ability to absorb 10 points of health from an opponent with every strike, making it a great option in your arsenal. Next we have the Nightingale Blade. Similar to the Blade of Woe, this blade absorbs health and can be obtained from a guild quest. Players must complete the Hard Answers quest for the Thieves Guild to obtain this sword. Every swing of Nightingale Blade absorbs health and stamina from enemies, with its base strength increasing as the player levels up. And last but certainly not least, it's Chillrend. This beautiful sword deals decent base damage and deals frost damage with every hit, along with a chance to cause paralysis, meaning this weapon is definitely worth tracking down. To find it, begin the quest The Pursuit and search Riftweld Manor carefully. And that's our list of the best one-handed weapons in Skyrim. Whether using a shield or leveraging the Dragonborn's ability to dual wield, one-handed weapon setups can be extremely useful in accomplishing your goals in Skyrim. Thanks for watching Game Ranch, and we'll see you next time.